Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept with respect to SQL queries and related to that particular topic, what is the very popular interview question which is frequently asked in data engineering or snowflake related job profile that also I am going to offer, okay? And that particular concept is least aggregate, okay? You might have studied this particular one while studying Oracle or SQL Server or some other database systems. But this particular least aggregate has a beautiful application with respect to Snowflake specifically. That's what we are going to cover, okay? So what is least aggregate? It is like other database system only. It returns concatenated input values separated by delimiter string. You can mention pipe delimiter, comma delimiter or any delimiter as per your wish and multiple values it will be concatenating with that specified delimiter and it will be returning this string result. Right? As simple as that. Okay. So now let's see the application. Okay. So first I will use a particular database which we have already created and now suppose the business requirement is you have to list all the columns for all the tables present in a particular schema in a database for Snowflake, okay? Try to understand again, I am repeating. Suppose you are having a database Ramo and inside that you are having a schema which is having public schema and now here there are three tables, right? Three tables have different DDL, different structure, different schema, whatever you say. Hello world, if you see this particular one, view details, if you click here, basically it is having R region, R name and R comment. Okay. And then if you check product info details, you will see product type, ID, color, length, width, etc. Product related features. If you check schema evaluation notification, then here basically it is having raw JSON data, file name, file row, row number and load timestamp. So what I mean to say that all these different tables present in the same schema is basically having different structure, right? Now the requirement is you have to basically specify all the columns for a particular table, okay? So for that, what we can do? We can basically use information schema, which basically store all the metadata information for Snowflake, okay? So if you go to information schema, and then here you will see a particular view which is columns, okay? This contain all the column related information. So if you just click on preview data, here you will be able to see the table catalog, what is the database, then what is the schema basically, and then what is the table name, okay? And here you will be getting column names, okay? Which table has what columns, okay? And there is another very important parameter which is basically ordinal position, okay? What the ordinal position is saying? Ordinal position basically defines your that particular column is coming in which order, in which place in the particular table, right? Like for example, if you see R region key, it is having ordinal position 1. That means in the hello world table, R region key is appearing as a first column, okay? If 2 you are getting as ordinal position for file name in schema evaluation notification table, that means in this particular table, file name column is present in the second position column wise, right? So this is another very important parameter which will help us to get the result set in proper order, okay? So let's see how we can apply in terms of query. So if you want to directly query the view columns in the information schema, you can apply select star from ramu.informationschema.columns and basically you will be getting the same result set whatever we got earlier, right? Now, what we want? We want only the specific uh, schema information, right? That is for the schema public, what are the columns that information we want? So here we can filter on table schema equal to public because here you can see that here table schema public is there, information schema is there. We don't need any column information about information schema. We are interested only with public schema. So we can filter out based on that and we can get our required piece of information. Okay. So now suppose what we want, we want to get all the columns for product info, this particular table, okay, present in public schema. So if you see, if I click on view details for this particular product info, here you will see that these are the different column names, right? Now, these column names I want to get. So how I will be getting from this columns view? See, let's start from this particular columns view where we will be filtering schema, what we were earlier doing also, but now we are adding one more extra condition where table name is product info. Okay, so if I execute that, here 
from this information schema dot columns we will be getting only the column names only the column information which is having basically table schema as public and table name as product info okay see no other things are present okay now here this one is coming as different different rows i want to get in single value a scalar value so what we can do we can apply list aggregate and we can specify the column name for which we want to aggregate all this result set into a single string with comma delimiter okay you can specify any delimiter as per your choice and i am keeping the rest of the filter condition as it is okay now i can run this particular one so what we are getting color with amount id length type fiber and product type so this is basically column names okay of the product info table let me paste it there and now let's see product info table okay so what i will do i'll click on view details and see here product type id color length width fiber type amount same things whatever we are getting here that is only present in product info table but only problem is this particular result is not coming in proper order okay here you can see first column is product type but here actually it is product type is coming at the last element right so might be the business requirement is you have to get the column names as a single string with comma delimiter but the column name should be in order with respect to your actual table structure okay so that time what you can do you can apply this particular clause within group okay very important and very important interview topic as well that is suppose you get a string from list aggregate with comma separation but the problem is that it is not in proper order now that group result if you want to order then here you can use within group clause and then here you can mention based on what column you want to do ordering okay now in columns view in information schema we had ordinal position which basically signify the particular column in that particular table is coming in which column position right so what we can do order by ordinal position we can do okay and this will be by default in ascending order so first column will be in first value in the list second will be uh, second and like that the column which is having maximum ordinal position it will be actually at the last because it is arranging in ascending order right so what we will do we are querying the same kind of sql query only difference is we are specifying within group order by ordinal position so that this list aggregate will return as the result set in proper order okay so if i execute that now see product type id color length width fiber type amount exactly the same order we are getting for columns how it is present in product info table okay and now suppose the business requirement is like this way you have to get the column names in proper order for all the tables present in the public schema then what you can do simple query just you have to apply group by on table name right earlier we were specifying the table name for which we want to get the column names but here we don't want to do that so what we want we want for all the tables the column information so we can apply this kind of query select table name and list aggregate column names with comma separator within group order by ordinal position so that it will be in actual order how it is present in our actual table from the columns view where table schema is public group by table name okay so now if i execute that here you will be getting all the table names and corresponding to that the second column basically contain all the columns inside this particular tables in according to their ordinal position okay and this is very important interview question interviewer might ask you write an sql query which will return all the column names present in all the tables in a particular schema and the column names it should be returning in order how it is present actually in the tables okay that time you have to execute you have to write this particular query okay within group very important concept in many other business logic implementation in our etl pipeline we frequently use this one so remember this if you don't use within group then list aggregate will simply return random order data right list aggregate or array aggregate also if you are using that time make sure you are specifying within group and mention the column based on which we want to make order so that always the results it will be getting in proper order not random order okay right and not only that 
here least aggregate I have discussed and within group also we have discussed as part of least aggregate. Not only that these two combination you can apply with window operation also. So what you can do you can apply over clause and you apply partition by on some specific columns and on that partition data you can apply least aggregate and do some business logic implementation do some transformation also okay so remember this with respect to window function you can apply over and with respect to normal aggregate always list aggregate and within group is open to you for applying transformation so this is kind of very important topic and i found that this is the interviewer's favorite topic with respect to snowflake interview process that's why i thought to share with you if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you